We are uh, just real, real happy to be here at the Kennedy Space Center. We're really looking forward to our, uh, our dress rehearsal for launch, our, uh, our TCDT. After arriving at the Kennedy Space Center, the seven-member crew of the next space shuttle mission eagerly participated in a week's worth of training activities to prepare for their upcoming journey to the International Space Station. The training, called the Terminal Countdown Demonstration Test, or TCDT, gives the STS-131 crew and ground teams time to go through the simulated countdown activities and execute emergency exit strategies. Among those activities were dry runs with M113 armored personnel carriers. M113s would transport astronauts to safety in the event of a contingency on the launch pad before liftoff. The crew members also learned how to operate slide wire baskets, which they used to quickly exit the space shuttle in case of an emergency. Discovery's STS-131 mission commander, Alan Poindexter, and pilot Jim Dutton will later practice landings in shuttle training aircraft, or STA a Gulfstream II jet modified to simulate a shuttle's cockpit, motion, and handling qualities. Discovery is targeted to launch on April 5th. In addition to Poindexter and Dutton, Discovery will shuttle mission specialist Rick Mastracchio, Clay Anderson, Dorothy Metcalf Lindenberger, Stephanie Wilson, and Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Naoko Yamazaki to the complex. The mission has three planned spacewalks, with work to include replacing an ammonia tank assembly, retrieving a Japanese experiment from the station's exterior, and switching out a rate gyro assembly on the SO segment of the station's truss structure. 